Okay. Next. I am pleased to present our next presenter, Bruce Hall. Um, and Mary, you will be presenting, correct? Yes. All right. Um, Bruce, you ready? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Capture and route device. Let's get you ready presentation. <coughs> yes. Yeah, exactly. Actually, all you have to do is hit the button and it will go to your next page for you. Okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen, Mary Stewart and Bruce Hall. My name is Mary Stewart, and this is my partner, Bruce Hall. Um, I just want to let you know that we're very grateful here today to be able to present our new device, and thank you very much for allowing us to be here. Um, our new device is called Capture and Route, and it's a point-of-sale device that allows you to receive any POS receipt on a cell phone or a handheld device and, and send it to your web account. Those that don't know what a POS is, it's kind of like the cashier, the grocery store. Instead of receiving paper receipt, you'll have it sent to your phone. Uh, the POS data in your handheld device can be electronically sorted and categorized and reported. It can then be sent to your web receipt account and to your accountant for bookkeeping or taxes. Oops. Anybody getting excited here? <laughs> um, we have two models. Um, one is our standalone device, and that connects between the output of an existing POS system and the input to an existing printer. Our second model is a printer interface board. So those that want to you know, kind of go green or stay vintage, they can just pull out the old memory board and replace it with the new. Um, once the data or the receipt has been transmitted from the POS printer to the handheld device, it can be viewed and an option will appear to accept or transmit, transmit the web to the web account. Excuse me. It can be di digitally <coughs> searched, sorted, categorized, and a copy can be sent to your accountant. You can even pull it up to get a refund or use it for warranty and more. So then you'll be able to actually have it on your phone and view it. Um, our planet's carbon footprint will significantly be reduced, and we hope to someday eliminate all paper waste. Uh, so if there's anyone uh, interested in partnerships, we are accepting partnerships and licensing presently. So if you're interested, here's our contact information. And that's it. Well, okay. Are there any questions? Yes. Yeah. 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 Example of how you would use it. Uh, it would be used as a, a cell phone device that you'd walk up. First of all, if you didn't have a cell phone, it'd just go straight through to the printer. If you did have a cell phone, then you'd have an app that you'd go ahead and press. It would talk to this device and route the information to your cell phone, which then it could be sorted and sent to your. Go ahead. Okay, I, I want, want to know. You show Walmart. What do you mean? You mean if I walk into Walmart? I'm going to use this device? Or what, when what they say? have this device, yes, you can uh, send it right to your cell phone or to a web account or to your account. The Walmart is just the exact, that was just That's receipt. an example receipt. But, <laughs> but this is, the, the important part about this is it's an add-on. So nothing has changed with any point of sale and it's ready to go right now just by adding it on and then you have the ability to have, uh, it goes through a cell phone. Who, who adds so, it on? Uh, it would be sold by two, licensed to printer manufacturers. Uh, the apps would be sold. There could be uh, quite a few different things with advertisements and that kind of thing. Yeah, uh, he was next. Okay. Um, my daughter wanted to ask, uh, what happens if you want to return something to the store? Oh, that's even better. You can pull down your receipt from the web and if they, re if they make you have a printed receipt, it will actually go through the printer to print your receipt right there. Now my question was, I'm sorry, um, if I go to the Apple store, I charge, charge something, they send me a receipt already, how is that different than what That's through email. 
when they send you the receipt that way. And that means they have to program all the systems in the United States to be able to do that. And there are so many types of systems that will never work. This is something that could be added on at low cost and doesn't change anything. This is, this is one of the boards. It's an interface board that basically all you're doing is pulling it, putting a new board in to the print. Who do you competition? Uh, nobody right now. We have a, a patent pending on that. Everyone's currently using email. Where does the information go? Do you have a server or something? It will be a server uh, on the web, in the cloud, whatever. And so you're able to have receipt accounts so that your accountant can, at the end of the uh, year, pull down this. So do you have that server now, or do you have to? No, no, we're, we're developing it right now. What, what prevents the guy in checking out for the next dial from getting we have a proprietary. I'm glad you asked that. <laughs> we have a proprietary um, uh, communication structure where it will actually only transmit a, a small, first of all, there's a code back and forth. That's the exchange handshake with the phone. Right. Well, what's to prevent another phone that's from doing that handshake with a register that's not in the aisle? Yeah, it, it's a, we'll get into that later if, if somebody's interested in it. Good tech question. But there's I'll take one more. Make sure I'm curious that. about the gentleman in yellow, those two right there. Actually, you answered my question about okay. the, Email. Okay. <coughs> oh, that's too easy. Is it uh, universally uh, um, interfaceable to all printers, all POS printers? Yes. Uh, it has <coughs> different types of inputs, such as some of the older ones are serial ports. Mm -hmm. Most of the new ones are USB. Okay. What we're currently interested in is licensing into printer. Very good. Good.